chosen one! It was said that you would destroy us and not join them! Bring balance to the force! Do not leave it in darkness! Hello everybody, welcome back to Star Wars Lost Hyperspace. I'm your host Isaac Wilder and uh, I'm here with my friend Manchester. Matthew Manchester. Watch your watch everyone. Hi Matthew. Hi. Yeah. Hello, how's, how's it going? going? Good, good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, yeah, before we begin, I just want to say um, thank you to our listeners. Thank you to our UK listeners and our listeners uh, from Illinois, all the listeners from California, all the listeners from Chicago, Texas. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for listening and don't forget to follow us if you have not followed us on youtube please follow us and um don't forget to hit that like button or leave a comment your comment will help us know um that uh your, your comments will help us know what we can improve what we can do better uh for the future and yes please like I said, don't forget to hit that like button or comment. Leave that comment. If there's no further ado, let's go. Uh, Matthew, what we're going to get into here, Kenobi. Um, uh, I have some theories here about Darth Maul. If Darth Maul, would, if Darth Maul would return, what would you expect him to be like? And how would you expect him to enter? I expect that that if Mo was to return, mm -hmm. that the potentially would with would pick up talk about Mo that they had brought Mo back in solo. I'm kind of thinking maybe they might want to refer a little bit to that because as far as we know at this at that time period he's still hunting Kenobi and yeah. then we might see more of basically a little bit about Maul's search bef mm -hmm. of at the time before he had help from Ezra. Okay yeah do that you think might be really good but that would be centered on Maul at the time. Yeah, but do you think Maul, Maul met Obi Wan before he got killed? Like we see Maul getting killed at the end of uh, after three they're gonna potentially have to have have it after three I'm still kind of guessing maybe they might if this Kenobi show happens after solo that would that might help a little bit if they do have a little portion about Maul that was maybe happened before Solo and a little bit after Solo because um, Rebels, it would have more talk about what would have happened potentially after Solo before Rebels. Mm -hmm. That would make sense if they were to talk about Maul. Yeah, uh, uh, one of the things that I'm looking forward to is Maul appearing, but um, do you think I've seen people talk about in the internet and people talking about um, the flashbacks. Do you think we might get the flashback before um, Qui Gon and uh, Satine? Do you I think, think they're going. 
I think if they look at flashbacks about the talk associated with Qui Gon, mm -hmm. because I would assume it would have had to be associated with the fact of Obi Wan had promised Qui Gon that he will train Anakin, and that's what we have seen in the and throughout the Clone Wars and all that, we see how Anakin became Vader. Maybe, maybe Kenobi feels like he he failed because he failed as a master. Yeah, he might be like Qui Gon. I I made this promise to you. I I kept my promise, and now you said he was. <coughs> you said that that Anakin was six shows in one. Here he is, Vader, and he, he might he might want to talk to might want to talk to Qui Gon about it. Yeah, um, one of one of the things that I was thinking of just randomly, if Obi Wan goes back to yes, we'll probably see him. Yes, we'll probably see him talk to Qui Gon, and probably see him. Um, I'm thinking. We'll probably see him get a flashback before, and it, um, um, I, when he was training Anakin, we'll probably see some flashback there. But I'm wondering if we're gonna get anything between him and uh, Satine. I like, think if they were going to have some flashbacks with him and Satine, he would mm -hmm. potentially set up the um Star Wars stories that occurred before one. It would be like a setup. Just like just like the Mandalorian set up Bugger Bull set. Just like um it El the it also sets up the Ahsoka series. The Clone Wars set up the Bad Patch. There's mm -hmm. some stories set up of a story, so potentially maybe so if they have flashbacks with the team, it will help set up the stories that happened before one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the things that I'm hoping for is to have um, some some Mandalore flashbacks. I know he's been there, we know for sure he's, he's in Tatooine. But I don't want to have like a an entire desert series again. I already had that seeing the book of Boba Fett. I already had an entire desert series. I want him, yes, yeah, I want him to show up some in the desert, but I want him to go away from the desert. But it would. That's what I'm hope. What are you hoping to see? I hope that if they were gonna have him leave tattooing because of every reason that it would make sense if he was to leave the directors had already made a basically a whole tv show about a guy in the desert where maybe yeah. they might it's like going to be like hey are we telling a story of a new character just like the whole idea of retelling the original six stories in three movies with the new trilogy. I don't care when maybe they might want to spice up how to leave. Yes, maybe a lot of if he was with the thing with Qui Gon might be like, oh, Qui Gon, I failed. Please help me know how to de help Luke. And he might leave tattooing, and this uh, he might go to some place that would help mm -hmm. him learn how to do it differently, yeah. so that he doesn't make the same mistake he did with. Okay, seeing from the Legos, do you think we will see um, uh, Qui Gon open a pickle jar? A pickle jar? <laughs> um, yeah, it was a Lego thing. I think yeah, I that know. was a pickle joke. So. <laughs> Yeah, especially the marshmallows too. Also, like yeah, the yeah, Lego, Lego's hilarious because they have them open, pick a jaws, burning marshmallow. When I imagine the Obi Wan Kenobi series, I imagine Obi Wan just sitting in. I've said this a lot through the podcast. 
I imagine Obi Wan sitting on a pickle. Oh no, not sitting on a pickle. No. Sitting on a fighter camp, burning marshmallows, and, and saying Luke, and watching over Luke. And hey, Uncle Owen said, Luke, Luke, oh, where are you, Luke? Oh, maybe that was what. Maybe that was what. Um. Oh, Obi Wan was doing was doing before Ezra and Maul showed up. Yeah. So yeah. Um. I'm excited about this series. Uh, we'll have more to talk about later. Uh. We'll have some guests with us. So we hope you will en enjoy this show. Like I said, please follow us on YouTube. Um, Lost Hyperspace podcast, and we to see more podcasts and leave your comments so that we can get, um, we can get to know what we can do better. And don't forget to like that part. Don't forget to like us. So, Matthew, do you have any last thing to say? Not much. I don't have. Don't really have anything okay. else to say. <laughs> Okay, uh, and then this will be something I'll be looking for towards yeah, me too. to see how much of my how much of my theories are true or wrong. Yeah, I and I, I might even change mine. I yeah, might even change. I might my change theory. it. Yeah, I might change it two, two times. Yeah. Oh, um, may the force be with you. May the force be with you. Always. Always.